السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والصلاۃ والسلام علی رسول الکریم الحمدللہ جی ویلکم ٹو آل اسٹوڈنٹس انشاءاللہ وی لرن نیو تھنگ ٹوڈے تھینک یو ویری مچ فار کمنگ ایز آئی ڈسکسڈ ود مائی وائف دیٹ ویری فیو اسٹوڈنٹس ار کمنگ آن زوم لائیو سم ٹائم اٹ ہرٹس آلسو دیٹ وی وی ٹیک آؤٹ آر time for you and we we are trying to uh, be on time we are trying to be uh, we are trying to be on time in all aspects in zoom class in whatsapp group in telegram everywhere our teachers are responding but really it's it hurts when few students are coming so how many students 62 students we have out of uh, 350 uh, it's, it's some somehow it it feels uh, really sad no problem May Allah give you jaza who came. So what we learned previously, we started Arab lectures. We studied a uh, few things about Arab. What is Arab? First of all, I will uh, just, uh, I will just uh, let you remind what is Arab. Any noun changing its, its shapes without change in meaning is called Arab. And uh, we have three situations in Arab. Uh, we call it Raf, Nasb. and jar so any noun is going into three different conditions there there will be some reasons why noun is going to which condition inshallah later on we'll study it but what uh, i actually divided my lectures into three parts how why i divided and how i divided reason, reason for division just to let students absorb one thing and uh, it it can be easy for them for example because arab for singular for dual and for plural all together is different all together different for example i'll just give you recap we have raf'un we have nasbun and we have jarrun three conditions so if i write a noun singular noun for example kitabun kitabun now this is رفع condition with the double tanween dhammatain uh, we call it dhammatain uh, and kitaban kitaban it is nasb condition so we have fathatain jar kitabin we have kasratain kitabin kitabin so these are three different shapes of singular noun now Actually, this is Munsarif noun, which is ending on Tanween. So we have three different shapes. But when we move to a Ghair Munsarif noun, for example, Jahannamu. Jahannamu. Jahannama. Jahannama. It is Nasbun. And Jahannama, it is Jarrun. Jahannama. So... as i think i told you in the lectures that please we will not uh, we will actually not do that uh, fix any any specific sign for nasbun and jarrun for all no singular noun munsarif is different singular singular noun ghair munsarif is different and singular noun mabni is different in all three shapes but when it comes to musanna or dual noun for example kitabani kitabani kitabaini 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 so i want to tell you in this three different things that for example for singular noun wahid noun the the symbol of raf is tanween dhammatain for mun for ghair munsarif it is dhamma wahid only one dhamma and for musanna for dual noun the symbol of raf'un is alif noon with kasra so you cannot fix any one specific sign for noun because nouns are different singular dual plural so today we'll study plural noun please keep in mind this kitabaini kitabani kitabaini kitabaini this baini aini sound please remember why because ya and noon will again be attached in plural noun but the sound will be different so that's why i broken down musanna 
and jam arab of musanna and plural i broken down in two lectures just to just to make it easy for the students that they cannot get confused so because it's little bit confusing in in, in the writing it's same but there are sounds and vowel changing only will will observe arab of plural noun actually masculine plural noun raf'un nasbun and jarrun we have three conditions so raf'un muslimuna what is muslimuna it is jam'un plural which plural salim salim it is salim why it is salim that muslimun singular word is available in the beginning and only waw noon is attached so muslimuna kafiruna as you know jam mukassar broken plural what is broken plural the singular noun when will make plural for that broken plural it will uh, the singular noun the words the letters of singular noun would get break down the different uh, different shape like kitabun kutubun all all together change but uh, salim we already studied what is jam salim salim so muslimuna kafiruna now the next step i'll move to nasbun but you have to focus muslimina please focus ya noon is added but noon is with fatha and before ya it is kasra so muslimina muslimina now muslimuna i will write musanna of muslimuna what is muslimani muslimani so for uh, for nasb of muslimani is in writing it is all together same musli maini muslimaini now the difference of these two in jam'un is ina is ina and in musanna is aini aini so as my teacher he was uh, teaching us so he given a uh, sound recognition he told me he told us actually when you are focusing on the sound the sound is traveling from top to bottom it will be musanna and the sound it is traveling from bottom to top like ina ina so it will be jam'un so same like musanna it is same nasbun and jarrun is same muslimuna muslimina muslimina kafiruna kafirina kafirina this lecture is very simple very small lecture actually normally it can be added with musanna but i divided these two lectures just not to let my students get confused that uh, the sounds actually the sounds and the writing is all same so due to that mixer kind of condition i divided these lectures so it will be very small lecture maybe 10 minute or 15 minute it will finish inshallah now few things we will learn more what is the change it is nakira so these are all nakira noun if we will make it uh, ma'rifa what will happen only alif noon uh, sorry alif lam is added al muslimuna al muslimina al muslimina al kafiruna al kafirina al kafirina nothing changed in the writing condition only alif lam is added now arab of plural feminine noun now plural feminine as you know muslimatun 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 kafiratun kafiratun alif and ta with tanween dhammatain we actually making a, a plural of feminine so nasb of that muslimatin atin please atin focus on that atin same nasb and jar atin atin so muslimatun is raf'un muslimatin nasbun and muslimatin jarrun kafiratun raf'un kafiratin nasbun kafiratin jarrun so these are all nakira now we'll make it ma'rifa we'll we'll add alif lam we'll see the change because as you already studied that when al is added tanween has to go and tanween has to change into singular vowel so al muslimatu al muslimati al muslimati nothing will change only al will affect the tanween and tanween will get drop and converted into single vowel al muslimati al muslimati al kafiratu al kafirati al kafirati and uh, next is arab of broken plural so 
Arab of broken plural is same as the uh, as the Arab of singular. If any any plural which is monsarif will be dealt same like singular aqlaman and aljar aqlamin aqlamin and for ghair munsarif now masajidu is the ghairu munsarif noun masajidu masajida masajida and masajida so same as we were dealing with the singular noun munsarif and ghair munsarif it will be dealt same like that so aklaman aklamin and masajidu masajida masajida these all are nakira now we'll make it marifa we'll see what happens al aklamu al aklama al aklami al masajidu al masajida al masajidi only one thing is uh, 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 because already we studied any ghair munsarif noun in jar when al is added in this condition this kasra this fatha will be converted to kasra and al masajidu al masajid al masajidi this is only one exception in the ghair munsarif noun when al is added at that condition the kasra will come in jar condition so alhamdulillah very simple and very easy lecture nothing to worry about it inshallah in uh, the next lecture we'll we'll uh, study few things about uh, about some some special letters inshallah which are actually affecting the nouns so after that lecture we'll start making uh, sentences when we'll start making sentences the arabic will get more interesting for you and i think your your interest will get, will be more developed inshallah so don't worry this this all until now all information we collected alhamdulillah we studied many things many things were new for you <clears throat> so one week alhamdulillah is enough to memorize <laughs> everything <clears throat> so now i make one chart for you already i prepared one chart for you you have to follow this chart i'll give you some how we'll use that chart today there will be no actually practice so these are the word these are the nouns muflihun i'll give give some identification for muzakkar is dammatain and for nasm will give fathatain and alif and jar we give kasratain okay and for muannas ta'a marbuta with with the dhammatain ta'a marbuta with fathatain and ta'a marbuta with kasratain and for muzakkar musanna what we will do ani sound and aini aini and aini aini so for muannas is tani taini taini and for jam plural it will be waw noon una ina so is new thing ina and ina muannas atun atin atin so sorry it's actually it's marifa what for marifa will use al only now muflihun muflihun muflihan muflihin muflihatun muflihatan muflihatin muflihani muflihaini muflihaini then muflihatani muflihataini muflihataini and muflihuna muflihina muflihina muflihatun muflihatin muflihatin so actually i given you some identifications only you have to use noun these are the nouns uh, now it's uh, up to you you have to practice it on your own alhamdulillah this was very small lecture very small lecture so nothing to talk about more so inshallah uh, we'll meet in new lecture inshallah may allah make it easy for you and for me for everyone subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa maulana muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa baraka wa sallama taslima kathira amin ya rabbal alamin